Who has a question for the audience? Uh, Ryan had one. Which a hole would you like oh, to be team up with? Yeah. Or do you want to volunteer to talk? There you go. There you go. That's a good one. Kicking the cat down. Yeah. Oh, it's 8 o'clock. Fuck, look at that now. Huh? Huh, son of a bitch. This is United A-Holes. A video cast discussing cultural topics with no filter. Please. This is United A-Holes. A-Holes. Yeah, you know about filter. No, wait a minute. John you don't have one. <laughs> Filterless John Player cigarettes. <laughs> Thanks for the eight mile lights. Medium. Uh, what are you doing, Ryan? You look to be searching he's, the internet pretty intently. Yeah, I'm trying to get things set up here. He's, he's having fun. Leave me. Well, I got to pass to him because he's the first thing on the list. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you fucked yourself tonight, buddy. <laughs> I do most nights. <laughs> Jeez, if I could what? do that, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> well, you, I don't. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let you go ahead. you got a couple things here on the list. One is something about fundraiser or something? Yeah, well, we decided as a group that we would uh, try doing something for the community for once. So, like Bernie <laughs> Sanders, we are asking you for financial support. <laughs> <laughs> for the yeah. first time ever, we're asking you for your financial support. It's not for us, it's for the kids. Exactly. We'll take away, kids. We promise to take away subsidies for big bowling. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Uh, so, we have a link in the description below to go to a GoFundMe. By giving to the GoFundMe, you are actually giving to Big Brothers Big, Sister, big Sisters Carlton York. So, we can go bowling on their fundraising day, March 28th. So they yeah. hand the money right over directly to. That's the funny thing about GoFundMe. No, GoFundMe has a, an agreement with PayPal's um, charity, whatever. I forget what they call it. Okay. So GoFundMe says every dollar goes straight to PayPal. Yep. PayPal agrees to look at the charity you're giving it to. And as long as you have the CRA number, which I did, I went to the organization, awesome. got it. They will then transfer the money from PayPal to the CRA. Right on. So, so it's not yeah. direct, but it it's gets not, there. But it's yeah, but they're yeah. So Sweet. it's just, or I mean, you can see one of your local a holes if you're somebody that's that's local, and we'll make sure that the money gets to them. But I mean, that's a quick and painless way to do it. Yeah. And go GoFundMe yeah. does not charge a uh, transaction, transaction, transaction fee. fee. Okay, so every dollar you send goes to. There you go. There is a transaction fee for your method of payment, which the credit card company or the debit company will charge, which. GoFundMe passes on to the user, but they don't charge anything themselves. Oh, perfect. So That's if you cool. like this system, consider donating to GoFundMe as well when you're doing your transaction. Oh, there you cool. go. I like it. Right on. It's awesome. Uh, a question. What do you want to ask them? Uh, definitely. You had the question this week, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Which a well, would you rather go through the zombie apocalypse with? Yeah, The Walking Dead started back up on Sunday. So who do you want to team up with? And why was your follow-up question, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So. Randy, myself, Ryan, Brent, or Duff? Yeah, yeah stick with me. I'll get you through the zombie apocalypse. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm really resourceful. Just get ready to cut the bridge in half. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Spider-Man, Ant-Man, Thor, and that Ryan guy. I'm not sure who's who. Spider-Man, I would have assumed, was Halden, but he's not here. <laughs> uh, I'm Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> and he must mean definitely off camera, that Ryan guy. He doesn't know him very well. Maybe. So I think he just missed Maybe. me altogether or you altogether. Yeah, I don't know. Or... Hey, who wants to hang out with her dad in the zombie apocalypse, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I don't, I, I, I don't know if I get this or not, but I, I think I do. You got a no alcohol challenge? Yes. It'd be easy for me. I don't drink. So well, it, it was easy for everybody. It was a challenge I was going to give to you guys because I don't know if we can do. It. I don't drink a lot of alcohol either, but I mean, it's 
Holy fuck. Are you guys it's, looking for halos or something? A, what are, you, are you afraid your moms are watching? I don't drink. I don't need, I don't drink often. I don't drink very much either. Join right? the cha- two-day challenge. No alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in! Oh, yeah. I, I think we can do it, guys. Uh, what's, it, what's this paying out, though? Is there some sort of a bet on here? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever doesn't accomplish this challenge has to pay the entire shot for the bowling game. <laughs> Uh, all right let's move on to some entertainment news uh yeah i read this one earlier today eli roth set to direct an adaptation of borderlands yet another video game adaptation they work out well <laughs> but i'm i'm a little uh, excited because of the fact that eli, eli roth is doing it and he's that geeky eccentric enough that he could probably um and have the clout to say leave me alone and let me do the movie that i want to i want to make right on so i'm a little bit excited i mean of all the franchises you can make a movie off of that one's pretty pretty sweet for the pickens yeah yeah if they stick to the storyline and hold the characters and get people to play the characters. and there's a lot of side quests there that they could throw in for fanfare Yeah, yeah that gun that that insults you every time you pull the trigger that was that would be a good one to throw in yeah, am i correct that's the game where the guy says you get a bullet and you get a bullet everybody gets a bullet yeah yeah okay it's the game where the bad guy acts like he's the good guy and you're the bad guy even though <laughs> nice. yeah i'd like to see them cast someone perfect for handsome jack, and handsome do, the jack whole thing. Yeah. do the handsome jack line and, and yeah that would be, that yeah, would be great. sounds like they could do it if they do it right it could be fun <clears throat> So, is everyone excited for a Friends reunion? Actually, yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, that was my favorite show. If if they if they do it right and set them down and and I mean they say it's unscripted, it's going to be scripted to a certain degree. They're going to know what they're talking about, right? Tara's going to throw coins at us. Yeah. Is that what well, yeah, toss, toss a, a coin, coin to, to your bowler. bowler. <laughs> 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 oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I think. I think it'll be good. Hi, Maureen. I you I, I will guarantee you somewhere somebody's trying to devise a way. Like we're bringing back all these other shows, man. If we could bring back Friends, it'll just rain money here. Somebody is trying oh, to find well, a way they, to get them back. They're pretty much bringing back. back every must-see TV NBC sitcom anyway. So you know what? That's you might as well go for gold, right? Yeah. And I'm seeing this that you are digging hunters. I am. That's the show that I, I'm binging right now is Hunters on Amazon Prime. It is awesome. Is that like the Canadian road show where they look for antiques? <laughs> no, it's about hunting for Nazis oh, in Nazis. 1977 New York City. Uh, I, I watched, And it's ultra violence. <laughs> I watched the Red Band trailer after I left because yeah. you told me about it. Yeah. And it's pretty Tarantino-esque. It looks yeah. pretty good to me. It looks like it would be entertaining too. Pacino, yeah. right? But she, yeah, yeah. yeah, and and oddly enough, he's the most subdued character in the. <laughs> but he's he's he he's kind of like you know, living well is the best revenge. Is the best revenge? No, revenge, revenge is, is the, the best, best revenge. revenge. I loved that line. That was in the trailer. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to dig into that one and check it out. I heard it was really good. It throws you in pretty hard. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, it hooks you. The first five minutes I've of each got series. 13, 13 to fourteen more seasons of. Supernatural. Supernatural gets because they're that. looking for that next thing. That's, that's going to go by quick, though, and you're going to be like, oh, it's over already? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm not enjoying it. It's yeah, just yeah. that's a lot of goddamn episodes to burn through. Because they do 20 episodes per season. Yeah, it was like 18 are, you, are you Team Sam or Team Dean? That's what Patty would want to know. Oh, really? I didn't realize that I had to make a choice. Huh. Team Dean. Say that. Team, 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 team. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. My wife is is uh, is a Dean girl, but she's Sam Curious. Ah, I gotcha. <laughs> Watch the season eleven. Not Dean Crowley. Dean Crowley. Crowley. Yes. Nice. Yes. Oh my God. Fucking. <laughs> Bunch of friggin' Team fanboys. Bobby. All right. Bunch of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> so our flag, as of yesterday, for the province, the New Brunswick flag, which has the liney thing on the top and mm-hmm. a boat in the middle and a yeah. bunch. Of is 55 years old. Nice. I thought that was quite recent. I was going to say, I'm only four. Right. 
<laughs> but then I clicked the link. I clicked the, the, the link and I went and started reading. And then I clicked another link and I ended up on Wikipedia and I started looking. The Canadian flag. How I know. old is it? it? Yeah, it's it's newer. Is it not? It's fifty five years old. 50, okay, it's the same. <laughs> I was gonna say no. I knew the Canadian flag actually hadn't been around that long. Yeah. And it, up until then, we used the crimson something, something. We used the Union Jack. Well, it was a red flag with the Union Jack in the corner, and then your provincial uh, coat of arms, which is what is now the New Brunswick flag. Yeah. in the center in a shield so anyway I, I had no idea all that stuff was that recent because you think of it as a this nation yeah. is 200 years old the blah blah yeah. blah no no it i yeah, mean the, the nation is but the flag's not the flag's not at 150 or whatever age we are now i know they had a big celebration there a while apparently ago. there were some wild designs that were thrown on the table too wow yeah eh, I, I like the one we landed on oh yeah me yeah. too it's kind of cool ah uh, oh goody <laughs> <laughs> New Star Wars film is in the early stages of development. Yep, new Star Wars film in the early stages. <clears throat> and any thoughts on what it, what what the the next one is going to be about, or what what would you like it to be about? If it's the one I'm thinking of that you're referencing, they're going back to Exegol. There's supposed to be a Sith film coming out. I I had heard a rumor too that there was going to yeah. be one about the Sith that was going to center around the Sith. Yeah. So. We got a we got a, a team uh, dean in there from Tara. Uh, uh -huh. well, no I contest. Was, oh, she's hard team dean. If I was wanted somebody to team up with in a zombie apocalypse, it would be Dean. Oh, absolutely, no doubt in my mind. His team has pie and beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you pie? <laughs> oh, zombie! Zombie's releasing a new album. Yes, he is. Um, and by somebody. all accounts, it's uh, going to be somewhat somebody? of a throwback to Astro Creek 2000. All right, yeah. now you're talking. Yeah, it's a little bit more uh, on the uh, his uh, growly heavy side than the twerk de doo bubblegum jazz clown syndrome pony ex exhibition. Hey, 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 ride. hey, 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 everybody's fucking in UFO. <clears throat> it's a fantastic song. I didn't say it was. I thought it was on that whole makeover show. And <laughs> rock and roll in the black hole. You guys caught that, did you? The, the home makeover appearance that he made back four or five years ago? No, I didn't see that. He, I didn't know about it, but he was on Rogan, and he said that he lost a lot of fans when he did that one. That really? show with Ty, whatever. Oh, name. yeah. Ty Henderson. Henderson. Home, 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 stream home yeah. makeover, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was on that for an episode because they were redoing a house for people that were big into like Halloween, whatever. So he, Which is totally on brand for him. Yeah. And he lost fans over that? Yeah, yeah. They were never real fans to start with. to a Disney then. entity, though. Oh. oh my God! What he sold out. With like, oh yeah, just like Tool did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To get yeah, that first album let's, made. Let's help out a let's help out a family <laughs> in need. Sell out. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, they were never true fans nope. to begin with. All right. Uh, Netflix is offering a top ten feature. Yes. What the? It's hell? already top available in what? the UK and uh, in some parts of Asia. But basically, you can click an icon now that just says. Top ten, and it'll give you all the ten shows that that are streaming that are that are getting the most They're views and the most hits. Top ten overall. Yeah. It's not by yeah. genre yeah. or no. type. Or... Just the top ten overall. Oh, Here's what's hot. Nice. Here's what. Yes. How pissed are you gonna be when Gwyneth's top one? Goop. 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 Get Goop your is poop. poop. Get your goopy candle. Click on the top ten link. Let's go. Somebody sent me a note saying that The Rock has. His own candle. My wife sent it to me, as a matter of fact, that it's it smells like balls. <laughs> no, it's, it's can you smell what the rock is cooking? Candle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. In it, his boxers. <laughs> Little crotch pot cooking. <laughs> From under. Good morning, geez. Vietnam. From under the force. <laughs> I, I want to see your reaction to this. A comedian raises four hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars in counting for a bullied nine-year-old boy. Oh, you're going to show us a picture instead. You're just going to rely on memes. Okay. So the comedian's the guy on the left, and that's what hit Mighty Mike. If that that's not if the comedian on the left is Mighty Mike, that's what his name is. Okay. Sure. I think. I don't know who posted the link. I didn't. I put his name. In. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the kid I take it on the other side that got bullied. Are they both little people? I think that's the proper term. 
I believe so. I don't want to piss one of them off and get into a fight. I don't want to seem bullying anybody. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Is bullying big enough to generate that kind of evidence for? When you have the right vehicle, and he was the right vehicle. I was going to say, when it already blew up? Yes. Blew up pretty yeah. quick. But I mean, okay, okay, maybe I'm saying this wrong. So how is he bullied? Like online or? School, I believe. School? School's the worst, man. Why, why can't people, and I'm not diminishing it, I mean, I'm glad the kid got some cash or whatever, but why, why can't people donate to something a little more worldly? Like bowling for kids. Yeah, like That's bowling right. for kids. Bowling, bowling for kids. Help you more give kids. Give one kid a chance. You gotta give many kids a chance. Big, big give brothers, us the money instead. Big brothers and big sisters. <laughs> Once again, we're asking for your support. <laughs> flip, flip, flip. Oh, they, they gotta get that. There we there. go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we need your support. The comedian is Brad Williams. Okay. Brad Williams. Thanks, Josh. Hey, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Right on. Josh, what do you think? Tell me. Of this whole story. I, I want you to type out an essay down there. If you well, know. let me say this while he's typing. I think that if one of us could like bully you, for example, and well, then we could, could get that, that later on, on tonight. But and then somebody has gets, to care And first. then somebody, uh, that's not going to work. No one it's, gives a fuck, Brad. That's step two that's Damn, the problem. That's the problem. We need to find we're male, somebody. male, we're cisgender, we're white, and we're 40-something fucking boomers. We're done for, man. We are, we are the shit on the shoe of society. Why doesn't anybody think about the white males? Because <laughs> they're self-proclaimed out. We need a telephone. We need a telephone. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to get next. off that one before I get myself off the internet in the other way that I don't want to. Huh? Stop it. There's Stop no such it. thing as bad press. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> David... Ayers, I think that was that the name. Yes, yes. David, David Ayers. Ayers makes hockey history at 42 years old. Yes, fuck you, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I saw the memes go by. Someone, please catch me up on this story. The goal, the third goaltender at the Leafs versus Arena, Arena is had to step in. The emergency goalie had to step in. Okay, so so let, let, let's understand this, if I'm not mistaken. Most teams have two goalies. With two goalies. They have first string, dressed. second string, right. dressed and ready to go. Some even have three. Okay, in this instance, I take it they didn't have a third goalie with them. Correct. This guy is from Toronto. From Toronto. Zamboni operator. Yep. Yeah. And they dressed him and threw him in net. Well, he was a an extra goalie set as an emergency goalie for either team. So he had wow. to win for Hurricanes against Toronto. And he's 42 years old. And he's 47 them. years old. 47. Yeah, I think he's up to 47. Yeah. 47 years old. Uh, a liver uh, transplant in 2004. Something like that. Yeah, right. 2004. And actually hasn't uh, played goalie uh, in like two years. Actually hasn't like physically done, had goalie pads on in like two years. So this is the equivalent of going to a rock concert. Be in front row, and the guitar player like drops. Yeah, <laughs> and someone comes out on stage and points at you, and you go up and you own it. That's it would right. be you would it would be like you were the tech for the guitar tech's tech. Right, and everyone else like is like you dropped. never get to do anything, and barely get a paycheck. And they go, "Can you play?" <laughs> okay, but to be fair, I've seen tons of videos online where they get the kid out of the crowd to sing the song or play the guitar and, and they, they fucking own it all the time. They knock it out of the park, yeah. Because it's prearranged. Is it? Absolutely. I don't think so. <laughs> but what makes this so special is that he is the first <laughs> That's right, because the voice guy. is real. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It has to be. They can't see him. Rumi's just a liar. Who it is? Rumi's a big, fat, Swedish liar. He's the one trying to get the karma points. <laughs> so, somebody told me that now because he has played in a game, they will actually add his jersey for sale, like you can buy the jersey with his name, he'll have a number, the whole kit and caboodle. So yeah. I'm thinking, if he never plays another game, he's still if he set. rides this as long as he can, yeah, he's he set because people are going to be like, ah, I want his jersey. But does he get a portion of the sales for his jersey? I he's believe so. He's on Stephen Colbert, so he's yeah. already getting paid. I, yeah, I believe I believe he does yeah. get a portion of the the jersey. I think so. That's yeah. I don't know that for yet. sure. That's what I was told. We have to actually say why he set a record. Okay, well, what, what what happened? He's the first one to ever win. The 
first in NHL history, he's the first like third Back goalie to ever actually goal record a victory and still, won the game. and still won the game. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Like because he, usually they get shelled. He turned the game around, did he not? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, to get well, to the third goalie, injured. they had to be doing poorly, or did the other ones get injured? No, they both injured. Yeah. Injured. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. both injured. But he's the first one to actually get a victory. So it was a hail they mary, won six and it worked. Yeah. Wow. Very well. No, so I bet he's really well I, loved I in his was, home city right now. I think it was planned. Oh, clearly, yeah, it was planned. It was planned. It was planned. It was planned. Yeah. They, yeah, they they had the injuries it was weren't real. It was it's pre- all pre-arranged. Real. I'm yeah. sure it was. <laughs> Nothing's real. The, the game was four NHL one. is sports entertainment, boys. Say what you want. The game was actually four one for the Hurricanes, and then Toronto <laughs> took a shot on this new, the on airs, and they scored. And then they took a second shot on him, and they scored. And then it was like quickly, like four three, and the, you see the Hurricanes coach going, "Oh fuck!" You know, <laughs> but no, but then he settled down and made some great saves, and yeah, nice. and Canes won six three. Pretty yeah, Very cool. And yeah. he was the game's first star. And it makes for great memes against oh, trauma fans. Absolutely. <laughs> People are really having a heyday with that one. All right, we're moving on. Moving on. Harvey Weinstein? Convicted. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Confetti. <laughs> but, but, won't spend the rest of his life in jail. Of course not. Because the, money. Two, because the two um, real big, uh, not that rape in the third degree, <laughs> and sexual assault are uh, minor, minor offenses. But uh, he was also charged with being a sexual predator, and he was not found guilty. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why, you know, when you've got like 15 different women like testifying that he did this, he did that, but not not a predator. Well, that doesn't matter. You can run the United States and still be, you know. Yeah, true. But anyway, at least well, he's, he's not a predator time. because he didn't hunt them down. They no. came to him. Bernie's yeah, not that true. bad of a dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Once Bill again, Cosby no. has already come out in his defense. <laughs> Saw that today. Bill Cosby came out in Weinstein's uh, defense. In New York, he still has charges pending in L.A. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, he he's not done yet. They'll they'll get all his money yet. Some of them. Oh, rejoice, rejoice! Boston Pizza has cauliflower crust now. Awesome. So we can keto it up. No, pizza. if we want, if it's anything like the cauliflower mashed potatoes, and it's like got twenty two fucking grams of sugar in it, a hundred and nine grams of carbs in an eight inch pizza. What did they do? Why are they putting cauliflower in it? I don't know, but I went there. I got duped. I saw the cauliflower <laughs> crust. I'm like, sweet. I'm having a cauliflower crust pizza. I eat it like this. Tastes too good. It, it can't be real. So I look it up online. Sure enough, a hundred. So you, you blew yourself okay. up. Okay, 109 in what size? 8 inch. They only serve it in 8 inch pizzas. Okay, Let's 109. What's in a regular 8 inch pizza? I don't know. Okay. I but just wondered if there was any back off, like are there 400 in a regular? I don't know. Yeah. So it's not keto. No. Nope. It's not even keto friendly. And no. I ruined myself twice that meal because I bought the chicken bites. They're all meat bites because they had three options, breaded, fried, and all meat. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't want breaded. I'll have the all, all meat. I'm pretty sure there's more breading on the fucking all meat than they do on the breaded. So <laughs> yeah. there was another 50 grams of carbs on their all meat chicken bites. So That's all meat. I hate when companies do something to make you think it's one thing. They're just cashing in. That's all they're doing. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. selling on it. the people that are too... Oh, yeah. Cauliflower's all the craze. It's, it's, if it's you the... don't look it up beforehand, you're screwed. Yep. Yeah. And not many people would, because I would automatically assume. I read that headline, it's like, oh man, I'm going to Boston Pizza, going to get me some keto pizza. No, no nope. not happening. Well, that's gone. I guess it's steak again tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> For us. <laughs> Dude, that steak. <laughs> Kill another cow. They yeah. say that they pollute really bad, so I think I'm doing the right thing. That's right. That's yeah, right. you're getting rid of them. Yeah. 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 No more farting from Good that on one. you, man. Flame onion. Good on you. I don't know. I eat as many of them as I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that helped. We've got more guys. <laughs> Just stop growing the damn things, and I'll stop eating them. <laughs> what are we supposed? What are we supposed to do? Stop eating the steak and let them just die in the field? Like that that's is not human. That's not right. No, no. <laughs> They're gonna fulfill their purpose, guys. Do that. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tara's got a statement. Cauliflower is only good from a pickle jar. That stuff's full of sugar too. Those sweet 
Yeah, yeah that's the sweet mix. mix. Yeah, that's no better for you. Sorry. <clears throat> Probably fine for her. Sorry. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Portland, Oregon installs turbines in the city water pipes to create free electricity. Yeah. So they use using gravity? Yeah. Gravity, yeah. It's only good for places that have downhill, obviously. But if it's constant, then you're only getting some. So they're going to get some return on the electricity they use to pump the water into the tower to start with. There you go. Yeah. So they're just recouping. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like regenerative braking on a car. Yeah. yeah. Right? But it's still better than not. Yeah. yeah it's free right. energy. It's there. It's a step right. in the right direction. Unless there's right. a water source that's actually higher than yeah. the town level. Ah, right. There you go. And they're piping it that far. Then there would be an increase. But right. But most places, Generally speaking, it's just a return on investment. Yeah. yeah. Still, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Even no. if you just put one turbine rated every every one of the, the, the base of your water line, right? Cool. At least we provide enough electricity to take some of the load off. But I have that song in my head all night now. What's that? James Brown's Gravity. Yeah. G R A V I T Y. I like John Mayer's Gravity any better. I've never heard Sandra it. Sandra Bullock's Gravity. You yeah. haven't heard John Mayer's song Gravity? Gravity kills me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not even gonna talk about this anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell us about the rental car that needs to call home. Oh yeah. Uh, well, that was last week. I can't remember all the diesels, but... Diesels? Details, yeah. Oh. Thank you, though. And sizzles? <laughs> Sisters has become sizzles, yeah. and details have become diesels. This female rented a car. Wait, can I interrupt just for a second? Tara, calm fuck down. You're getting a little worked up. The caps is too much. you got to calm down. Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> It'll so take about a minute for that. To she rented me. a car, drove out into the country... Turn the car off, did her thing, whatever she was doing. Comes back to her car, the car won't start. The car has a security feature in it that it has to call back to home base to do any functions, except she was out of cell phone tower range. Oh, damn. That's a flaw in design. You just got to push it back to the tower. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. What's weird is that her cell phone worked. So she could tweet and take pictures, but couldn't drive the car back. So it's all pre it was staged. It was all staged. Just yeah. like, just like NHL, just, just like the voice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. do we get? How, work. how do we get? Let me guess. She was bullied, and she probably got a fundraiser for four hundred seventy-two thousand dollars. Brand new car. Yeah. Well, and she it. rented a car with that money. Yeah. Yep. So she got to keep the car. Wow. Well, <laughs> the woods did. <laughs> the car's still there. <laughs> it, it's pretty sad when we're at a day and age where they have to do that with a car. You know what I mean? You think they'd have some better solution than that? Yeah. Anyway. That's awful. So, four Taurus, one, two, three, four. Are we all going to SpaceX to go to uh, high orbit? Once again, we're asking for some money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, SpaceX is putting together a Taurus package for four people to go into high orbit. Wow. So, I figure if we could raise a couple space. million dollars a piece, we, we got a chance at this. Nice. There. Nice. So if we start fundraising now, we'll make it by the time we're 80? Um, by the time we're colonized on Mars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At which point it'd be subsidized I, anyway. I don't know if I'm into this high orbit thing. No? You wouldn't go? You don't want to, you don't want to actually be able to say you've been to space? It's black. Yeah. Oh, you've been to space. I'll go in the closet. Well, Close the door. You can make races. me throw up in there and we'll say I've been to space. Didn't you already come out of there? Yeah. Right into like twice the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hit He's on mind. Team Phil Dunphy. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, we're gonna get into racist territory here, and that's not good. So before we went live, you asked me to add Lego Masters to this list. So Patty and I saw some ads for this Lego Masters, and I'm like, I'm gonna record one because I want to see. It looked like there was a lot of drama going on, which it's sometimes that sort of takes away from these reality shows, and we don't watch. So Lego much. Masters, yeah, catch me up on what it is. Okay, first. so they have teams of two people. And it's uh, oh, who's the they guy? That, something? Who's the guy that hosts it? Um, he was in the Lego Movie. Um, Chris uh, Pratt. No, I can't think of his name. And it doesn't matter. Um, so they get these people together. Well, Arnett. Yes, that's who it is. No, he's right. That's who it is. So they get teams of people, and they come in and they say, "Okay, here's this week's challenge. This is what you're going to build." And it's one thing. Like they don't have a whole bunch of little ones. It's one deal. This is what you're doing. The one we watched, they took an item and they cut it in half. So there was a guitar cut in half. 
there was a bicycle cut in half, the front, and, and what they said was, you take the item, they had put plates on the side of it for the Lego pieces, and they said, you build the other half. But not just building a guitar, or building, you tell a story. So, I'm in. It's like a guilty pleasure, I'm hooked, because watching these people come up with stuff, because there's the, wow, that's incredible, and then there's the train wrecks, which I think is more, you're like, what are you doing? How did you end up on this show? It's Lego Masters, not Lego Pretend. <laughs> so, and they vote a team off every week. So we've only missed the first two teams gone. And they found themselves some wildly different people amongst the room. And wow. it was it was entertaining. If you like Lego at all, it would be a show where you could, you know... It, it's, it's just kind a, of a YouTube show? Or? No, it's just on NBC, ABC, CBC, one of those shows. I don't know. I just find it on the thing and record it. So One of those networks. <clears throat> yeah, it's a network show. And so, we doing A-Holes Try Lego Masters? <laughs> <laughs> I have a nephew that probably has enough Lego I've that got we a could kid all do that. Enough Lego. Yeah. They, and they destroy it at the end. That's the other thing. Uh, Will has taken a baseball bat to them, and one of the one of the clips, the guy's like, "You don't smash Lego!" And one of the contestants is losing his mind, and I'm like, "That looks like the best part of the show." All right, you spent like twelve hours on this. Blah! <laughs> That's the job I want. <laughs> Coronavirus. Yeah. It's How's a, it doing? That's a Duff update. That's a Duff date. Yeah, it's a death date. Let's have a look. I don't remember what it was last week. Was it, ah, it wasn't that bad. It's, yeah, that's about the same. The looks like total Mickey recovery has like skyrocketed, which is nice to see. Yeah, that kind of comes in waves. I'd like to note, though, that Italy has a lot of deaths for being oh. a pretty developed country. Oh, so it's the olive oil. They have ten deaths. It's yeah. all staged. It's fake. She, she, clearly, <laughs> olive oil is not, not healthy for you. Yeah. That's got to be the common denominator right there. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. There you go. And garlic. Italy. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. Have you been watching Canada at all? Yeah. I noticed that uh, they still had a lot of infections out west, but the two in Toronto were recovered, so that's what I cared about. Except for the two that landed on Valentine's Day in Montreal and then continued to Vancouver, and now they're going back through Montreal to see all the people that they come in contact with to see if there's any outbreaks. Oh my. So we don't have to land in Montreal on our flights, but still, there's shit going on that it's not comfy. There's also a lot of Canadians on that cruise ship that are obviously not Canada. Right. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah it's in Canada, not Canadians. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. This show could get, like, wildly exciting. Or really, really down to two people. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan. <laughs> and not that Ryan. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do the live stream from the hospital beds with the food bed orders on. That's right. <laughs> uh, you guys not, will be on the other side of the plastic curtain. Not It'll look funny. like an episode of Chernobyl. It's not funny. <laughs> Why are we laughing? Um, I guess I, I didn't put these on the list, but I'll throw them in uh, for anyone that's a YouTube nerd like I am. That two big channels finally returned back to their glory this week. PewDiePie is back from his break, and How Ridiculous is back after a one month break as well, or a month and a half break. And they came back in a big way and built a baby barn shed thing and dropped the piano on it from 45 meters. Which is pretty freaking awesome to watch. <laughs> and they had one of those X1 3D cameras that they dropped with the piano, which is really cool to watch a piano just sail uncontrollably through the air. Grand piano? Uh, upright. Okay. But it still weighed, I think it was oh, yeah, they're, they're 1,400 and something baby pounds. Grand? Yeah, well, it's an upright piano, not a grand piano. So. Oh, okay. I mean, I think... Think of a bar piano, old western. Oh so. yeah, yeah, they're heavy. They missed. <laughs> they missed the first drop. But it didn't oh, break man. up. Ba- it didn't break up bad enough, so they're out straps and raising her back up. <laughs> hey, it's worth watching. So check it out. Yep. All right, I love your song. Go. Sing. Sing. So we have to answer our own question, Randy. What? Which a hole would you take to the zombie apocalypse? Mr. Carter. You're Mr. Thinking Carter. About that oh, Brent. Have. oh Brent. the only reason I choose Brent. <laughs> you got hip problems. I've heard you pitch about it, and I'm not fucking listening to that while I'm trying to fight off zombies. <laughs> You've got some health problems that I'm not willing to deal with either. Brent hasn't really mentioned it other than when he gets stuck with something that he passes out. So long as I keep him from getting stuck, 
We're good. Yeah, because nobody good. sees blood in the zombie apocalypse, right? Blood doesn't bother me. Oh, it's just the needle. Just, it's right. just the, okay. yeah. So yeah, long yeah. as we don't stick them with anything, we're good. Yeah, yeah. I can get cut. Or and if I fine. really so want to get away, <laughs> just shove a needle, shove a needle, and run. Yeah. Does that zombie ever tell us? That worked once. <laughs> At the scale? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I picked Brent. Although I do know that, notice that Tara, I'm, I'm sorry, Tara, I didn't mean to snap at you earlier, that you picked uh, Duffley because he has experience. Yeah. I, I don't know how many too many delicious carbs are, today, so she's blaming it on the carbs. I, I don't know how many zombies you ran into in Bosnia and, and Afghanistan, but. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess you would have experience with firearms to a degree. Okay, who are you picking? Myself. You're not, you're not, <laughs> you're breaking off. It's going back. solo. Yeah. Though. It's, Partners are useless. It's worked well for me so far. <laughs> okay, Martini. Uh, I'm going with Josh. Oh, yeah. Right. I think he's probably done the most research on the alternatives to everything. One of the other so, reasons, like, pages were, one of the other reasons that I voted it. against you is I played <laughs> yeah, Left really. for Dead with you before. <laughs> And the setting up the perfect trap and then waiting for me to walk through it to burn it up. Yeah. Think how good I'd be if I was on your team. This oh, wait, be, I was! This will be, this will be Josh. Just a second here. We'll get out of this situation here. Just give me one sec. Just a second. If the zombies, if you guys wouldn't mind just cooling your jets for a second. Come, while you come back to me. Come back to me. <laughs> okay, so you're picking Josh. You're going solo. I'm taking Brent. Well, you've already picked me, so I'm going with you. Okay, we're, we're, okay. we're a du dynamic duo. There you go. You can be Dean. I'll be Sam. We'll fight the evil. Fight the evil. Fight the power. <laughs> Duff? Who you picking? Who you picking, man? Duff? I'll pick Ken. I don't have to outrun zombies. I just have to outrun Ken. <laughs> <laughs> you think you know, but you have no idea. <laughs> we call him the eel. He can run like an eel. 